Welcome to the aztaxes.gov electronic filing tutorial of a transaction privilege tax return with multiple line items. Today we will discuss aztaxes.gov compatible web browsers, how to file an electronic transaction privilege tax or TPT return, how to review your electronic filing history, and how to contact an Arizona Department of Revenue ADUR, representative if you require assistance. For Windows and Macintosh systems, the most compatible browsers are Google Chrome, Firefox, and Internet Explorer. For optimal performance, Google Chrome is recommended. At this time, users continue to report unpredictable results using Safari. From the aztaxes.gov homepage, click on the Log On to AZ Taxes button. Log into your user profile by providing the username and password established during the aztaxes.gov new user registration process. For more information regarding this process, please visit www.azdor.gov or follow the step-by-step -step guidance provided in the new user registration tutorial found at www.aztaxes.gov. The first screen you will see is the business list screen. Here you will see a list of all the businesses currently linked to your user profile. In the actions column on the right side of the screen, click on the view link that corresponds to the desired business. This will bring you to the Business Details page, where you can now view the TPT license number, account status, outstanding balance, and pending payments associated with the selected business. You may also notice that the menu options on the left side have expanded to include the option to file. When you have finished reviewing your business details, select File, then select the type of return you wish to file from the submenu. On this screen, you must select the license number, year and month for which you wish to file. This will prompt additional options to appear. You may choose to file an amended return for a prior period, report $0.00 gross receipts for the tax period, or elect to cancel your license at the close of the selected filing period. If none of these options apply, simply click on the blue Continue button without making a selection. You will now be directed to the Location list, where you may review a list of the locations associated with the selected license. To begin reporting income, click on the link to view line items corresponding to the location for which you wish to file. This will take you to the line item screen, where you can review the line items for the selected filing period. In this example, the business is a retailer subject to the tax in Maricopa County in the City of Phoenix. Under the Action Items column on the right side of the screen, select Edit to begin entering your figures for this region. The region and business codes and the applicable tax rate will automatically populate based upon the business location and business description provided during the application process. Begin by entering the gross receipts or income derived during the tax period. The amount must reflect the total income for the filing period without deductions for tax exemptions or expenses. Next, click on the gray Add Deductions button to begin entering deductions for any income not subject to tax for this filing period. This will take you to the Deduction Codes list, where you may either tab through the list of available deduction codes for this location and business activity, or you can search for a specific code in the field provided at the top of this screen. If you wish to search for a specific code, enter the code, and then click on the blue Search Deduction Code button. Enter the deduction amount in the field provided, then click on the blue Continue button to return to the previous screen. Once you have finished entering the deductions, the tax for this region will calculate automatically. If you have additional business or region codes for which income must be reported, click on the blue Save and Add New Line Item button at the bottom of the screen. If you have made an error and wish to go back to choose a different line item, click on the blue Delete button at the bottom of the screen. If you have finished reporting income for this region, click on the blue Save and Continue button at the bottom of the screen. This will return you to the Transaction Details screen, where you can now see the summary of the figures entered for the selected region. In order to report tax in another region, select the Edit link that corresponds to that region. The City and Business Codes and the applicable tax rate will automatically populate based upon the business location and business description provided during the application process. Begin by entering the gross receipts or income derived during the tax period. The amount must reflect the total income for the filing period without deductions for tax exemptions or expenses. Next, click on the gray Add Deductions button to begin entering deductions for any income not subject to tax for this filing period. This will take you to the Deduction Codes list, where you may either tab through the list of available deduction codes for the location of business activity, or you can search for a specific code in the field provided at the top of this screen. 
If you wish to search for a specific code, enter the code, then click on the blue Search Deduction Code button. Enter the deduction amount in the field provided, then click on the blue Continue button to return to the previous screen. Once you have finished entering the deductions, the tax for this region will calculate automatically. If you have additional business or region codes for which income must be reported, click on the blue Save and Add New Line Item button at the bottom of the screen. If you have made an error and wish to go back to choose a different line item, click on the blue Delete button at the bottom of the screen. If you have finished reporting income for this region, click on the blue Save and Continue button at the bottom of the screen. This will return you to the Line Item screen, where you can now see the summary of the figures entered for the selected region. Once you have reviewed the information, click on the Return to Location List button. This will return you to the Location List screen, where you can review the business name, line item count, and total tax due for the location or locations. If you have additional business locations, you must select the View Line Items link that corresponds to the additional locations and follow the previous steps to report the income for each additional location. When you have finished entering figures for all locations, click on the blue Continue button at the bottom of the screen. On this screen, you will be asked to report whether excess tax is collected. In most cases, businesses do not collect more tax than is required. Therefore, the default answer to this excess tax field is no. In the event that you have collected excess tax, select Yes and enter the amounts of excess tax for both the city and county regions. When you have finished reporting your excess tax information, click on the blue Continue button at the bottom of the screen. This is the Electronic Return Summary page. Here you'll see the tax and excess tax amounts, which are automatically added to calculate the total tax due. You will also see any applicable credits or prior payments that may have been applied to this filing period. When you have finished reviewing this summary page, you may choose to either return to the previous screen by clicking on the blue Previous button, review a Schedule A or Deduction Summary by clicking on the blue View Schedule A button, review Line Items or Transaction Summary by clicking on the blue Review Line Items button, if you are finished with the return for the moment, but wish to return to it later before submitting, click on the blue Save button at the bottom of the screen. The user must select Submit in order to complete the filing process and for it to be received by ADOR. If you are ready to submit, click on the blue Submit button at the bottom of the screen. This will take you to the Return Confirmation page. You may receive a pop-up window explaining that filing a return and submitting a payment are two separate processes, both of which must be completed for compliance. If you receive this message, click OK to close the window. On this page, you will receive your return confirmation number and total liability. If you wish to submit an electronic payment at this time, click on the blue Make a Payment button in the middle of the screen. If you wish to make your payment at another time, you may leave this screen. For more information regarding the electronic payment process, please visit www.azdor.gov or follow the step-by-step -step guidance provided in the Making Electronic Payment tutorial found at www. .azTaxes.gov. You can review your electronic filed returns at any time by selecting the e-filed TPT return history option from the menu on the left side of the screen. If you require the assistance of an ADOR representative, you will be able to send an email directly from your azTaxes.gov user profile. From the menu displayed on the left side of the screen, select Messages, then select Compose Message from the submenu that will appear. You may also contact a customer care representative by calling the local and toll-free numbers provided or by fax. Get the latest information automatically by enrolling for ADOR's email updates. Sign up today at www.azdor.gov. Congratulations! You have successfully completed an electronic transaction privilege tax return. Thank you for your time today.